This video will tell you about the Helix Nebula Initiative and the Helix Nebula Marketplace HNX. It will demonstrate how to use Slipstream, the foundation of the HNX portal. The Helix Nebula Initiative is a public-private collaboration bringing together flagship scientific users and European cloud providers. Its goal is to create a sustainable cloud infrastructure for science in Europe. The Helix Nebula Marketplace HNX is that federated cloud infrastructure. To ensure its sustainability, an explicit business model has been developed. First and foremost, HNX is free at the point of delivery. Users do not need to provide financial information or make payments through the service. However, this does not mean that the service is free. Users, or more likely the user's organizations, conclude contracts with one or more cloud providers agreeing to pay for the computing resources that are used. Those providers then share that revenue with the HNX operators. This, in this straightforward business model, all parties benefit, making HNX economically viable and ensuring its sustainability. Concretely, how is HNX organized? Users from diverse scientific disciplines and with large computing needs can use a variety of European cloud providers through HNX. The HNX portal connects the two, providing a common interface and facilitating multi-cloud application management. The HNX portal is operated by Six Squared and is based on Slipstream, a multi-cloud application management platform. To orient you, I'll give you a quick tour of the Slipstream interface. The Helix Nebula Marketplace requires a Slipstream account in addition to accounts on the cloud infrastructures that you will use. You can register for an account directly through the interface, or if you already have an account, you can log in directly. Once you're logged in, you'll arrive on your home page. The first panel shows the App Store, a collection of predefined applications that can be started quickly. The second panel shows other application definitions. You can create your own applications and browse applications that others have shared with you. The last element of the home page is the service catalog. This provides information about all of the available cloud infrastructures, allowing you to choose those clouds that best fit your needs. Slipstream also includes embedded documentation for users and administrators alike. You can also get support through the Contact Us link. The dashboard provides an overview of all of your cloud activity. We'll see this in more detail later. And finally, there is your user profile, where you can set your preferences, and most importantly, provide your cloud credentials so the Slipstream can manage your applications for you. Now we'll see how Slipstream can be used to easily deploy an application. We'll start with a simple example and then move on to a more complex one. From the interface, we'll return to the home page by clicking on the home icon in the breadcrumbs. We'll select the RStudio application from the App Store. RStudio is an analysis server with R statistical analysis software installed. It allows R to be used from a web browser on the user's machine. Click on Deploy to start the deployment process. From the Run dialog, choose the cloud that you want to use, and then click on the button to start the application. This will bring up a Run page that will allow you to follow the progress of the deployment. This will deploy a single server with the RStudio software installed. After the initialization, Slipstream will start provisioning the resources and machines required for the application. Once the machines for the application have been deployed, Slipstream will then configure the machines and start the necessary services. At the end of the process, Slipstream will indicate that RStudio is ready and provide a link to your RStudio instance. The time to start the application depends on the cloud being used and the complexity of the service being deployed. On the RStudio login page, provide the username and generated password. This will bring you to the RStudio console where you can perform your analysis. How do you know the generated password? Slipstream provides a parameter database that allows the application developer to communicate information to the user. More typically, the simple but powerful functionality is used to pass information between machines within an application to coordinate the configuration of the service. When you're finished with your RStudio instance, you can free the resources by terminating the instance. Just click on Terminate and confirm this in the dialog. Slipstream will then stop the application and clean up all of the resources. Let's move on to something more challenging, deployment of a full three-tiered web application. From the App Store, choose the LAMP++ application and deploy it. Like before, this will bring up a run dialog where you can choose the cloud you want to use and then start the application. Slipstream completely manages the multi-cloud applications. Whole applications or selected app components can run in different cloud infrastructures. 
You will then see the same run page that allows you to follow the deployment process. In this case, however, you will see a complex application including three database servers, two web front ends, and one load balancer. Six machines in total, all correctly configured. When this finishes, you'll again get a link to the running application. And here you can see the welcome page for the three-tiered web application, built on Linux, Apache, MongoDB, and PHP. This is resilient, high availability deployment of the application. Slipstream is both user and programmer friendly. All of the features you've seen and more are available through Slipstream's full-featured REST API. Slipstream can be used as easily from a program as from the web interface. The dashboard allows an extremely useful overview of all of your running application. The first panel of the dashboard shows the number of virtual machines currently running on each cloud, along with your quota in those clouds. Here we have seven machines running on the Atos cloud. The deployment panel shows all of your recent application instances. It provides links to the run pages for those applications, as well as links to the application definitions. The last panel shows your cloud usage as a function of time for all clouds. Here you can see the number of machines used for the RStudio and Lab++ applications that we started earlier. You can also look over longer time periods. HNX is a production platform. CERN, for instance, is currently using the platform heavily to analyze data from the Large Hadron Collider. Through Slipstream, they deploy and manage more than 2,000 virtual machines simultaneously on the Helix Nebula Federated Cloud Infrastructure. HNX is ready for your applications. Register and give HNX a try. Thanks for taking the time to learn about Helix Nebula.